Yeah, I just uh, got uh, my video got canceled because well, that, it didn't get canceled, but I, I l ran out of space on my device, so I just had to free up some space. Uh, yeah, you know, and it's like it's just awful, you know, this racism that goes on, and and like I said, uh, these people. They're into like sexual domination, you know. I mean, that's why a lot of you know they wanna, they they wanna uh, brainwash our children, uh, you know. And, and part and what it is is like uh, these people like they're they're uh, molesters, you know. And, and and what it is is they uh, they just feel badly, you know. That children have it, it, it's it people children have a conscience, you know. And and what and it makes them feel guilty. When they see uh, children that that don't like the idea of being uh, forced to have sexual intercourse with animals, or or children that uh, you know don't want to have sexual intercourse with adults, you know it bothers them, and that's why they want to. <laughs> that's why they want to control everybody. They want to. Uh, it makes them feel guilty. You know, they see other people have a conscience, and they their conscience is sort of, you know, just. Uh, they don't have. They have a lack of a conscience because they've either been abused or they've been abusing other people so long, uh, and they don't want to uh, get caught. You know, they don't want to be put to shame, and that's why. That's what. That's what's behind it. You know, and it's like that. And and the other thing, like if you if you know your history, uh, what's been done in the past is if you're at war, if some country is at war with another, they just try to. Uh, weaken them in whatever way they can. And one way they can weaken them is with racial uh, strife, is to foment racial strife. And, uh, you know, why is there all this racial strife in our country? You know, the, the other thing is people don't realize this, but there's racial strife right now all over the world. And that's something that, uh, you know, and, and there are all these people that like, uh, in our educational system and stuff, they feel, well, you know, you you have to, uh, uh, you know, have, you know, you have to have strife and stuff in order to, you know, uh, affect a world change so we can bring on the communist utopia and everything where, where everybody has everything and nobody has to work. You know, it's like, you know, I mean, just these, it, it, these, these, these pipe dreams that just can't happen. But, uh, but 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 it's linked to all their pride and everything you know it's like and the the thing is is like you can prove that their bosses are 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 people that have sexual intercourse with animals or child molesters but what happens is is these people they're still these people they still uh, want to believe that there are these wonderful people that are changing the world and and you can get rid of their bosses you can show them that their bosses are crooks, but they still want to believe that they're doing this wonderful thing. So they just go on, and you, to some extent, you can show them, you know, you're destroying the world. You're going to destroy civilization. You're undermining the fabric of society by teaching people that they can have something for nothing. You know, that to, to, to undermine our youth and their sexual standards. Uh, you can show them all this, but they just want to go on with the dream. You know, they've been raised on this dream, and they want to uh, continue to preach the dream, even though you can demonstrate that uh, the people that gave them the dream in the first place were just the most worst people that uh, ever come, came into existence. You know, uh, and, and you can look at... And, and it's hard to do it's hard to teach them history too but you could teach you can show them how this has been done in history before but when they've been raised on this when they they've been told and the other thing is these people that were at at the top or and many of them still are they've been uh just uh, fawning on these people and appealing to their pride all their lives and the other thing is like a lot of these people that are in the media that they, they don't uh, they aren't very intelligent people, and they don't have any skills. You know, it's like there are people that you know, like a lot of these talking heads. They look good, and they they dress good, and they and 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 they they look attractive, and to them that's what's important. You know, and 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 they get and they meet people. And, you know, everybody looks at me. Oh, you look so nice, and you know, uh, uh, you're, you, it is so wonderful, you know, you know, you tell us, know what's going on, and you're a popular person, everyone knows who you are, and, 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 uh, 
but it, but what it is 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 that uh, uh, they don't have any skills, you know. And it's like if they were to go into something else, who's gonna hire them for looking good, you know? Who's gonna hire them for dressing well? Uh, who's gonna pay them any kind of amount of money uh, that they, uh, you know, to do the things that they do? They don't have any skills, and and, and the, the, they're the kind of people. They parrot what they're told, and they're looking for some kind of person to parrot. You know, who's going to tell me what to believe now? Who's going to tell me what to say? And, and, and they're, they're, the, the other thing is, a lot of them, they consciously believe in brainwashing the public and telling them what to believe. They they consciously believe that in the first place, because they know, a lot, a lot of, they simply know, <laughs> the other thing is they... <laughs> They spend a lot of their time collecting information, and they know, sure as shooting, that they're this, they're, the things they're telling people aren't true. And many of these people believe, well, you know, the public, the world needs someone to tell them what to believe. And, and, and they consciously believe that. So they're just looking for, uh, when, when they, they have their leaders taken away from them, or their leaders are put in, in disrepute, uh, they'll just go on. They're just looking. They'll look for anything else. They don't believe. I mean, the problem. They don't believe in the truth to begin with. You know. I mean, look at how, what they're reporting about me. What they, you know, they don't believe in the truth. These, you know, uh, uh, that they, they they don't believe that you know uh, that public has the ability to uh, uh, be told the truth, and and you can expect things to work out that they, they, they believe that the public needs to uh be told you know whatever you know some what some person tells them to believe they don't they, they don't believe in 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 concepts like the truth or or principles you know uh so that and, and that they, they believe in in whatever gets them someone to fawn on them you know to tell them they're a wonderful person and uh you know, of course, everybody needs to be told they're a wonderful person in some way. You, you, you know what I mean? But but uh, you should earn it. You know, and 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 these these people are still at the top of the uh, of the media. You know, these people that want to be fawned on, that want to be told we're changing the world, we're making it a better place. You know, the world. Uh, if you're a Christian or something like that, the world is. The, it teaches that the world, it really is an awful place. Uh, uh, you know, there are all these awful things happening. You know, uh, one conversation that my father and my, and this is a conversation that just goes on uh, uh, between, in all families. You know, my, my dad would, my sister would say, uh, you know, dad, everybody's doing it. And my, my dad would say, well, if everybody's jumping off a cliff, are you going to do that too? You need somebody to tell you that that's the way the world is. The world is there's all these people that are doing bad things and you have to resist it. That's just the way the world is. And you need the truth. You need the truth. You need the truth. You need someone to tell you, you know, that uh, all the children that are having premarital sex end up having very bad lives. And they and every any kind of measure of success, whether it's whether your children go to jail or not, whether you get a divorce, whether you're happy, whether you make uh, 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 enough money, all those measures of success are lower for children that have sexual intercourse when they're teenagers. You know, you need the truth. But the, the, they're, not, they're not giving you the truth because they're working for a bunch of totalitarians who are fawning all over them, you know, and telling them, oh, you're doing this wonderful thing. And, 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 and of course, uh, when, when, they, when the Chinese land in this country and, uh, you know, they need new people to run the media and stuff like this or run the educational system, they're going to get rid of all those people and, and, and step all over them and, and even, you know, start murdering them and killing them. And those people, uh, they, they are so proud. They are so, uh, they have bought in, that they're so brainwashed themselves that they'll buy, that they just won't be able to accept that. You know, they, they won't be able to accept what's happening, you know, the, and it's like, uh, uh, the people that we depend on for telling us the truth are so brainwashed themselves 
with uh, the, all the falsehoods that they've been telling us that they are just totally out of touch with reality. They, they can't, they can't, you know, be educated, you know. So this is what's, this is what's going on. <laughs> you know, so stop watching the mainstream news. You know, don't waste your time with it. Uh, uh, it it's just, it, it, these people are deceivers. You know, these people just aren't, they, they aren't, they, these people are out of touch with reality. You know, and this is the way the people who uh, are, 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 you know, our congressmen and our presidents. You know, these are people that are just simply out of touch with reality and very, very proud. And, and they want to, that's why they tell you things that you want to hear that, and, and they don't believe in. You know, you know, like, you know how King David, you know, it's like I, I said, if you do some really bad thing, uh, what happens is, is you'll do, if you don't own up to it, you'll do even worse things to cover it up. Well, what happens is, is these people that are telling us, you know, and telling us the things that we want to hear, uh, which are lies, you know, like the, the, as if they, you know, care about us and, and want to represent us and do these things. What happens is, is they do even worse things to cover up the fact that they, that they, uh, they under, they're, in fact, they're, undermining our country they're working towards setting up a totalitarian regime regime in the world that's that they do even worse things and and they're 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 abetting these people that are anal rapists that simply uh exist only to uh uh uh, uh hurt people you know because it gives them a sense of power a sick sense of power that's that's what uh that's what happens when you when you start uh, lying to people and telling them what they want to hear when you don't believe it when you're actually you know the, to cover up you know uh, what they're actually doing and their real intents they do things that are even worse and you can expect that so uh, anyway that's what's going on in the world today uh, I love you guys uh, it, it, it's I, I'm great I'm gr- grateful to be a member of the human race and in the uh, and, and and the world really is a test. The world's a test. You know, it, it's like uh, there are all these things going on wrong in the world, and we need to resist them. That's part. You know, it's part of the Christian understanding of the world. You know, it's like it, there's really so much that's wrong, and you have to resist it. You have to teach. We have to teach our children to resist what's going wrong. Uh, we have to inform ourselves. We have to tr- seek out the truth. What's really going on? Uh, when when we, when we uh, and of course if 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 uh, it, you know a lot if the news if the news you're getting it's free uh, usually uh, it's it's you're the product you know it's if you're if if you just believe whatever people tell you you're the one you're the thing that's being produced. It's not that, and not the the news. Uh, any, you know, and it's a test. The the, the, life, the life is a test. You know, what what are you going to do? You know, are you going to believe uh, anything that people tell you and allow yourself to be manipulated, or or are you going to uh, resist and and do the right thing even though it's difficult? And I'm, I, I said it before. I'm I'm an ordinary person. Most people will resist the truth. Most people, if they know, I mean, will <laughs> resist. I mean, if you're in the media, sure, you'll resist the truth, the mainstream media. But most people will resist lies. Most people will resist the pull of the world. And uh, where we go in eternity is uh, determined by what we do here. Uh, you know, the, the, our lives are just a tiny slice of eternity. I mean, we're hardly here any time at all. Uh, uh, you know, it's like it's so important what we do here. It's so important what we teach our children. It, 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 so, uh, 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 you know, I know that, uh, like I said before, you know, I'd be in eternal hell. We'd all be, if we all, uh, if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for the truth, which Jesus Christ is the truth, if it wasn't for the truth and we, we were tr- trying to follow it, uh, we'd all go to hell, you know. The and and, and uh, uh, the world looks like it's going to hell, 
you know, and there's a lot of people that will just look at it and say, uh, well, it's going to go into hell, and uh, I'm just going to have as much fun as I can, or I'm just going to enjoy what I can, because uh, life is really short. And there are other people that are just like, well, you know, there's principle, and there's doing what's right, and I'm going to do what's right, even though, uh, you know, it looks like I'm going to suffer. Most people are like that. So, uh, <laughs> most people want the truth, and most people want to do what's right, and most people are good. And, uh, and there are bad people that will just seek out uh, positions of power to uh, uh, go on doing the wrong things that they are addicted to doing. And I know that Jesus Christ loves us. He knows that he, he that uh, if we do what, what he uh, wants us to do, if we do what's right, we'll have a place in eternity. And the other thing is, you know, uh, what's so important is, is we that we live a life that we can point our children to you know be, so that they'll do the same thing we want to we want them to go to heaven with us you know we love them and we love you we're Tom talking to you kids we love you we're your parents we love you we want we want you to go to heaven we want you we don't we we care about what happens not just in this life but where we go in eternity and and we love you and we want you to come with us and uh this is what's going on. Uh, we talk about our temple covenants, and uh, you know, in the church, and how important they are. It, it represents a, a uh, an eternal commitment. You know, one of the most important things in life is who we decide to spend eternity with. You know, with our family, the people that we love, to make an eternal commitment to them, and and all. Uh, uh, you know. That's love, you know. We do you love your your companion eternally? Do you love your children eternally? Aren't, aren't these the most important things in our lives? And that's uh, what I'm trying to do uh, with my life. And I and I think that's something that everybody wants. You know, we all uh, care about uh, where we the, the 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 most eternal thing we care about is. You know, outside of God is our children and our family, and God is our Father. He's like our member of our family. He wants us to uh, organize our families and care for each other and, and love each other. And uh, and there are people in government that just bad people, and there's few of them. There's very few of them that are trying to change all this and pervert, you know, the the most important uh, relationships in our lives. And uh, I'm so grateful for. Jesus Christ and helping me uh, overcome uh, all the, you know, I mean, you know, I used to, uh, uh, what, 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 I don't know how to say it without, you know, this is for kids and stuff like that, but I, I, you know, I was living a life where I really uh, was just, you know, I could be just as bad as these people and he, he, God really turned me around. I'm grateful for Jesus Christ. Uh, I know he's a family God and he loves us. And I know that he loves me. I know that he loves you. And uh, uh, that's all I have to say for now. Have a good day. And, and uh, God bless you. And just keep doing what you know is right.